So Path of Exile is coming to mobile. Now this isn't the most grandest announcement since this was already announced back in 2019 which I will be having the official announcement trailer playing above right here on the gameplay. But today I actually want to talk about the recent announcement that ExileCon, which is pretty much the convention for Path of Exile fans and lovers alike, that will be releasing in 2023, July 29th to the 30th in Auckland, New Zealand. Which they're saying that there's going to be a brand new Path of Exile 2 and the Path of Exile mobile based game. So actually, I want to talk a little more about the convention and as well as the mobile based game so pal of exile 2023 uh so already the lake of calarandra announcement live stream yesterday and they said they will be hosting the second exile con event in new zealand of next year which we have a couple of details hopefully they're recording this i'll definitely try my best to get enough information about Path of exile 2 in the mobile based game around that time when it's leading up to that and see if we can deep do a deep dive into what to expect for the new Path of Exile 2 and of course the mobile based game. People who do attend will be able to play both games, attend the developer talks, meet the team and hang out with other Path of Exile fans as well. So it's basically similar to like BlizzCon where you get the get to check it out, get to talk to the devs. It's the, the world of Path of Exile. So this is, will be taking place in New Zealand between the 29th to the 30th. So we're looking at a two-day event in 2023. So the part that has me has me the most interested is the fact that there will be huge announcements for Path of Exile 2 and the mobile and a preview of Path of Exile, the base game, 3.23 expansion. We get to learn a little bit more about the second game and mobile and it will be brand new new game systems and content at the event. You can of course attend the developer talks, learn more how we actually develop the games, hang out with other fans, meet your favorite Path of Exile streamers, play demos of both games, and you of course you get the brand new merchandise and watch the competition and attend the Exile 2023 after party. Now. Anybody who actually wants to fly out to New Zealand to be able to attend this, I just want to give you an affirmation warning that this is going to be expensive. So for a regular ticket, it will be $230, $230 US dollars to basically have the entry to the event on both days, entry to the after party, including a drink voucher, a swag bag with some of the merchandise and a code for an exclusive event microtransaction. That is pretty much what you can only obtain as a regular ticket goer. So this is hugely expensive. So the VIP ticket actually gives you a little bit more than what the regular ticket offers. So the regular, the VIP is $700 United States. Holy, holy crap. That is a lot, bro. That is almost my rent. That is insane for how much this ticket, the VIP ticket costs, bro. And, I, and I'm and i not expecting, so we're talking about the VIP is $700, including the fly, I have a round trip back to fly there for two days, but technically you could probably be there for about a week. I'd say go there for the whole week and then attend there. But still, $700 plus the plane trip there. Which is expensive, especially in today's economy, bro. So you get the regular access, you get priority queuing. Oh no, bro. Alright. So as a VIP, here's the biggest kicker. This is expensive, bro. The priority queuing for both, you could play the Path of Exile 2 and Path of Exile mobile game demos. You get the queue for the merchandise shop, VIP sitting at the front of the auditorium during the keynote presentation, VIP dinner with the GGG developers before the event, location will be announced soon. Guys, <laughs> no way bro, there's no shot. $700 plus to fly there and to get your probably your Airbnb or hotel and just a VIP ticket of $700. You're looking at at least over $1,300 just to attend this event. 
just so you can obtain early access to be able to play Path of Exile 2 and the mobile based game have a lunch or have a dinner with the, the developers and to get front row seat of the keynote presentation now I know some of you probably seen the comments that that's not that bad but hey <laughs> I live in Michigan bro we <laughs> we cheap around here bro $700 bro that's almost my rent like good lord just to attend that for a week and then we have the ultra vip which jumps the price up from seven hundred dollars to two thousand dollars of course the plane ride there and back make sure you have everything the airbnb or the hotel oh my god i'm just looking at this price bro it just it hurts my bank account so you get an exclusive dinner with the ggg founders and a few special guests, which is highly limited ticket sales. Highly limited, two thousand dollars is highly limited. And I got pe people got got the big bags nowadays. Good lord! So you can get your ticket. They'll be releasing the first wave of tickets at two p.m. Pacific Standard Time on August twenty-fifth. They will be served on a. They will be sold on a first come, first served basis. You can purchase up to two tickets per Path of Exile account. If you'd like to purchase more, please contact Consumer Support. There will be one more likely smaller wave of ticket sales later on, which will be announced in advance. The last time the Ultra VIP and VIP sold got out extremely quick, extremely quickly, bro. People just got money, like. <laughs> bro, reading this right now is insane, bro. This time they are more expensive, but they still sell out fast. Be around at the exact time that they're going to sell to increase your chances you can get some. Note that, that upgrading between ticket types is supported, so there's no harm in buying a regular ticket to start with. If you add more VIP ones later, this is restricted six is this restricted 16 event, and the party is restricted 18 event. You must have Fido ID, pretty much like standard convention based stuff. So here's the actual stuff to be I wouldn't say worried about, but to keep a note of. The Path of Exile race event in the lead up to Exile Con. We'll be hosting a series of race events as qualifiers for the grand finale. Players who qualify to compete in the grand finale will be flown to New Zealand to compete live on the main stage during Exile Con. Oh, so of course, if you're part of the tournament, you're probably getting a free fly out to go attend the tournament, of course. And then you get swag bags, merchandise, and exclusive microtransaction, which each attendee will receive a swag bag upon arrival at the event, including a map of the venue. Some other surprises will still have a first line of merchandise available at the event that will be offered to the attendees first. We make any remaining stock available to the wider community. Your swag bag also includes an exclusive in-game microtransaction that won't be available anywhere else. You must physically attend the event to receive this microtransaction. And of course, there are other things to do in New Zealand. So you can, while you're out there, like I said, if anybody, you want to be able to go out to New Zealand to attend this, I recommend staying there for about a week. So you can at least enjoy New Zealand, get settled in, go to the convention, do other stuff outside the convention. Don't fly there for just two days. Stay there for about a week, maybe two weeks if you got to. Hey, take a vacation if you need to for your original nine to five. And of course, there are COVID-19 precautions. So anybody who gets flown out there, please be cautious. COVID-19, uh, COVID stuff is still going on and it begins to circulate. The vid is still circulating. And of course, they will refer to event tickets in a scenario. The majority of the cost may be international flights and accommodation, which cannot reimburse you for. It's important to be aware of these switch when planning your travel. And that's pretty much about it at about ExileCon 2023 and the given information about Path of Exile Mobile and Path of Exile 2. But takeaway from this is if you guys got big bags, monies, <laughs> then you, you will be able to attend this event. Definitely make sure to be prepared. These tickets do apparently sell out fast if you guys want to fly out to New Zealand. If you guys do go to New Zealand, definitely tell me, <laughs> let me know how your trip was. I, I sadly don't have the money like that to be able to attend an event like that. Not even the regular 250 like it, you know. If I was big, big bad YouTuber, sure, I could probably drop the money into it or I was the tournament. But, man, that is crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed 
uh, today's announcement about Path of Exile. If you're a Path of Exile fan or you're a fan of ARPGs, Path of Exile currently is free to play right now. Definitely go check it out. If you are in the mobile space, be prepared. New information will be coming about for Path of Exile Mobile so you get to play it on the go. If you need to, and of course, we're getting Path of Exile 2, a complete sequel to Path of Exile. And as always, guys, stay safe out there. <laughs> if you got money, it gets you to a lot of places. And as always, it's been your host, KSD TV, here at Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace. Make a manifest. I don't sleep. That's so weak. Don't plan to rest. I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest. No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best. Chefing, hard times taught lessons. Praying every night to pull up and park benzes. What's my home is what you call trenches. You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses. It's all tension, no sun, and rain a plenty. Full time job, still can never make a penny. 